Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can add sound effects to your Wix.com buttons. So first off, you'll have to start from the dashboard here and you'll have to click on this button to edit your site, which will take you to here, the Wix website editor. Now to start, let's go to the left hand side here to add elements. On add elements, you'll need to add a button first, pick whichever one, doesn't matter. Pick on a button and then go back, add elements again. Go to video and music and then click on audio players. On audio players, just add in this one. It doesn't matter again, but that one is the most convenient. Now once here, first we'll have to change the track of the audio button. Now when you click on a button, I imagine it'll be something like a, a button clicking effect. So we'll have to add that. So go to YouTube or something, or if you have a, a audio already uh, prepared, you can use that instead. But I'm just going to set, search up button click sound effect and I'll pick this one. I'm going to copy in the link, copy link address, and you can download it with an external downloader. This, um, the particular one I'm using is called Y2Mate. You can search it up. I'm going to press download. And on download, it'll be downloaded right there. Now go back to the Wix website editor, click on the audio player again, change track. Remember, change track, and then click on upload track. Make sure it's selected on one track. Wait for it to load. After that, click on upload media, Click on Upload from Computer, and from there, upload the one you just uh, downloaded earlier. Yeah. Give it a second to upload. After that, click on Add Track. Now let's test it. Okay, sounds good. Now after this, you'll have to do a little coding. So to start with that, you'll have to go to Dev Mode here, and then click on Turn on Dev Mode. Now it'll look a little intimidating, but it's okay. It's pretty simple. First off, you'll have to click on the button and take note of the element name right there. The element name is hashtag button tree. Now click on the element and then click on this on click. It'll take you to here, the on click function section. Now from here, you'll have to type in a code. So the code of all of the function for the play button is on the Wix documentation site. But the thing you want to pay attention to is here. Uh, dollar sign W close, close bracket quotation my audio player dot play you can pause to copy and paste that i'm just going to pause copy go back and you'll need to paste the code on here there you go and you'll see that you have a red squiggly line that's because the name of the my audio player doesn't exist in our instance we'll have to change it to our actual audio player name when you hover over it you'll see the name which is hashtag audio player one so change that to you do the audio player you have in here so in my case, it's hashtag audio player one. So I'm just going to change it to that. I'm going to type that in hashtag audio, audio player one right there. You can see it pops up already. Now, after that, that's all the coding you need to do. One last thing you'll need to do is click on the audio player, click on it, and you'll see it'll pop up here and make sure the default values is set to hidden because we don't want people to be seeing the audio player here. Now let's preview this to see if it works or not. Give it a second. Now let's click on it. Pretty good.